Okay, there's a new coffee shop. <sighs> Keep. I do have a boyfriend. I feel like a lot of people are gonna be like, like how? <laughs> friends how are you welcome back to my channel for a thursday friday in my life it's almost noon on a thursday and i've spent this morning just doing computer work and trying to remember to drink water because i've been really bad about that lately and it's showing on my skin this is your reminder to drink water <laughs> i have a 2 p.m meeting and a few things i want to do ahead of time okay there's a new coffee shop that i've been dying to try i think it closes at one so every time i want to try it around two o'clock it's closed. So I'm wondering if maybe we can go try it before my meeting or if that's trying to fit in too much. I don't know, we'll see. I also have a ton of packages to unbox. Um, I don't know if I'll do them all in this vlog, but there is one that I'm so excited to see because it's a little time sensitive and I, I think I wanna open that with y'all before we potentially head out on a little work break today. That sounds lovely. Also, I have new rental things. I feel like all the clothes I've been wearing lately are rentals. <laughs> this is the package that I am so excited to open because this officially concludes all of my requested maid of honor duties. There's one more thing I want to do for Jacqueline, maybe in this vlog or next vlog before she gets back from her honeymoon. I was in charge of ordering thank you cards for Jacqueline and Mark for after the wedding to like write little thank you notes to all of the um, people that gave them gifts. And Shutterfly reached out and asked if I wanted to work with them on this video. And I was like, oh my gosh, perfect timing because I actually should have probably ordered these cards a while ago and I haven't yet. <laughs> so I am working with Shutterfly on this video, meaning I'm gonna link the cards that I use down below and that does help to support my channel. Don't tell Jacqueline that I'm kind of a lazy maid of honor because it looks like I tried really hard because these turned out awesome. But I made these in about 15 seconds on their website. I literally texted her and was like, hey, can I have one of your engagement photos? And she just sent me one and I uploaded it into like one of their pre-made templates. And it was so stinking easy and they turned out so cute. They have great photo books. And that's actually what I used for my own wedding albums back when I got married. They're still somewhere. I don't know where they are, but they were really great and really easy to make and way more affordable than all the other wedding options. Back to Jacqueline and Mark. Um, okay, I made them these cards to say thank you from Jacqueline and Mark and have their cute little picture. And then you can write on the back and I chose to carry this design. This like, it's almost like a rose gold foil onto the back, which is so cool. And then they can just write over that their thank you notes. And it also came with envelopes. I had the option too. You can just upload all your guest information and they will print the um, mailing addresses onto the envelopes if you want. You can also really upgrade your envelopes and have lining and all the really fancy things on the inside, which is great for actual invitations. For thank you notes, I kept it really simple. Jacqueline, if you're watching this, skip to the next part, click the next timestamp because I have a present that I'm really so excited to order for them as like a little post wedding gift. I'm just waiting for the professional photos from the photographer to come in because they make photo puzzles and Jacqueline is obsessed with puzzles. Jacqueline buys puzzles anytime she's anywhere. She has so many, she loves, apparently, it makes her less stressed to do a puzzle. Doing a puzzle makes me more stressed, but I'm gonna take whatever her favorite wedding photo ends up being and make her a photo puzzle of their wedding pictures. I actually am kind of contemplating showing y'all a little screen grab of my Shutterfly um, uh, like profile because I have so many photo books through the years and it's actually kind of funny that that's been like my go-to present in past relationships. <laughs> is making like an annual photo book. This doesn't look like I made them in 15 seconds, does it? And the paper feels super high quality. I love the additional details of like the gold, rose gold accents and everything just turned out so good and got here in like a few days so quickly. So thanks again to Shutterfly for partnering with me on this video and for having just awesome cards, stationery, invites, thank you notes all the things makes it super easy for my last maid of honor duty. So I'll have that linked down below for y'all. But I think, we, I think we should go try out that coffee shop. I think we should, it looks really cool. And it's actually in a very interesting spot. I'll tell you when we're in the car. Okay, we are here, we are parked. We are trying out a place called Idlewild Coffee. And this is inside of, do you guys remember when I got my 
wedding tattoo changed from 2 to 12 inside of a really cool very funky hostel called native hostel here in austin they also have like a dentist and like a podcast recording studio and a food truck park and just a very odd a nightclub I think that a lot of shows happen here. Just an odd conglomeration of things, but apparently this coffee shop is now part of that conglomeration and uh, is, I think, pretty new. So I'm excited to go and see it and see what it's like. Let's go. Somebody else to help themselves Leave their troubles upon the shelf And don't you worry very cool in there. Um, set up for some sort of show maybe tonight and you know the rules. Iced oat milk latte. Yet to be stirred. One sip, rating out of 10. Let's give it a good shake. I mean, it's not bad. It's pretty acidic. It's not my personal preference of like espresso. Six out of 10, but inside's very cool. Inside increases the points, but six out of 10. It feels a little bit like acid reflux, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I do have a little life update car chat for you. I've already shared this on the internet, but gonna share more details here now, and I haven't formally put this into words yet for YouTube. Um, I officially have a boyfriend. <laughs> it feels so weird to say out loud because it's still very new. I know I've been saying for the last few months that I've been going on dates with a guy, this guy I've been dating, and the reason that I've been choosing that verbiage is because we, we did not have a title on it. I wanted to be so cautious and mindful of like taking my time before we put a title on anything because I was not looking to date. I had in my mind like I'm going to be fully single for like a year probably at least before I try to date someone or try to you know look for that at all and it just kind of like fell into my lap and has been so easy and fun and good and sweet that after like a few months of dating we were like okay this is this is really this feels really great like this feels so effortless I had two hesitancies to not was one it wasn't the timeline I had imagined for myself and two I knew that people would have some things to say about it and I had a car chat semi recently about if the only reason that I'm not going to do something is because I'm worried about what other people will say about it then I'm going to go ahead and do it because that is a silly silly reason to not do something so after that car chat we visited each other we spent some time together and he officially asked me to be his girlfriend so I do have a boyfriend and I would like to introduce you in case you did not see my Instagram post um, I can just maybe just share some of the photos from that post here so that if you don't have Instagram, you're caught up to speed. But his name is Jordy. He's very sweet. He's currently on tour, so he doesn't really live anywhere. He's on the road. So what we've been doing is he has visited me, but I have been um, kind of picking spots he'll be, whether it's for a show, for work, whether he's visiting someone or whatever, and um, been like, I will meet you there and get myself a place and we can hang for the few days that you're there and then I'll go back to Texas. And then he's come and visited me in Texas. Uh, actually, well, two, it's been two or three times in Texas, a couple times as well. So we've been kind of taking turns meeting one person or the other, wherever they are. Um, a lot of people had said, hey, back in February, when you recommended his music, was that like a little Easter egg? Was that a little hint? Funny enough, when I filmed that vlog recommending his music, that is how we connected, but we had not connected yet at the time of filming that. I just genuinely thought y'all would like his music. And then after we started dating, I did start to hide a couple Easter eggs on my Instagram stories, you know, tagging his music or using his music as like a background music for trip footage, whatever, because I thought that was kind of funny and cute. But the initial time that I said, hey, this guy, Jordy Cersei, I think you'd like his music, we had not even messaged yet. Um, so that's just funny the way that that happened. And like I said, that is part of the reason we connected. It was because I mentioned him in the vlog and all the things we, we, we will maybe one day sit down and have a full, like how we met 
video. I do want to introduce him to the channel. I did not want to introduce him to the channel until there was a title because like, that would be silly for me to be like, hello, here, here's a boy I've been on a few dates with. Let me just put him on my social media. That's a big, big, big step. So I wanted to be so cautious about taking my time about introducing him on social media. I didn't want to have people's opinions, honestly. I didn't want something so sweet and fun to be tarnished in any way. And then that's also just like a big commitment for the person that I'm dating to be introduced to hundreds of thousands of people online. Um, like you, you can't undo that. So I just wanted to really take my time and be cautious, but it's been a great few months. And now that there's a title on it, I am here ready to start sharing. I will say in a couple weeks, I am going to Hawaii and that's one of the times that he actually has to be there for work. And I was like, what a fun place to meet up and hang out. So I got myself a spot to stay and I got myself plane tickets and he extended how long he's gonna stay so that we can hang out in Hawaii for a few days together. And so that's gonna be fun. So maybe when I'm there, I will be vlogging the Hawaii trip. Um, Maybe when I'm there, we can film a little like get to know Jordy video. I don't know. Y'all can ask him juicy questions. He's very open about like, he's like, I'll tell them what I think about you being married and divorced. Like I, I'm an open book. I will, I will tell them all the things. So maybe we can film that. And I do want to start vlogging when I travel to see him sometimes because I love travel vlogs and I think like especially in Hawaii he'll be working a lot of the time which is fun for me to have an excuse to go out and do things by myself with y'all so that's just kind of what to expect I do have more solo just me trips planned in the future too I just booked my Maryland trip actually last night for July as well and I'm really looking forward to that and that's just me not meeting up with Jordy and so that's the plan that's the update he's very 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 sweet i could say so many kind things about him but he's just pursued me so full-heartedly in so many ways like last vlog when i had that procedure kind of happen i was trying to play it off like it was no big deal but i was honestly a little bit frazzled by it and he called my neighbors to unload my car for me he scheduled me a dog walker so i wouldn't have to take max out he sent me food he like has been able to so intentionally show me love and compassion and take care of me from afar, from long distance, which has been mind blowing and is just so encouraging and kind with his words, but asks deep questions. And I also really super appreciate that we are long distance because I don't feel like I'm cheating the phase of learning how to live alone. And that was something really important to me too. So even though the timeline isn't what I pictured for myself, I'm like, okay, at least I'm not in a situation where I'm living in the same city as the person I'm dating. And that could accidentally become my world because right now I want to be really mindful of still pouring into myself and learning how to grow and learning how to be independent and all of this after divorce. And it's kind of sweet that I also get to learn how to date and how to be treated and pursued in a really healthy way. And it'll be interesting navigating this going forward, but to the people that have been so encouraging and excited and sweet, thank you. Cause it has really been just so exciting and sweet for me. And thank you for allowing me to feel that excitement. I feel like it's been a really nice change of pace to feel like joyful feelings after the last couple years of not, you know? So that's been awesome and I love you. And okay, I'm gonna stop rambling now. I actually have to go get set up for that meeting. Let's go home. Okay, meetings are done with for the day. And remember that storage unit that we toured last vlog? It is officially mine. I am the proud new owner of like, <laughs> I think it's like 200 square feet. I don't know why it's so huge, but the price is like, a couple dollars a month difference between all the sizes and I just got the biggest one. Anyways, I am going to move this bike into there because there has been a lot of theft at this building lately. A lot of things have been stolen, broken into. Uh, it's actually kind of scary. Like at least one to two things a week happen here. So, um, but this has been outside. So I'm just gonna wipe it down. It's pretty gross. And we can ride it over to the storage unit, put it away. And maybe I'll tell y'all some of my plans for that storage unit. We'll see. And, oh yeah. It, oh, I left the lights on. Oops. <laughs> so I just hopped in my car straight from the storage unit and I'm heading to Goodwill because, okay, th this is my thought. I feel like a lot of people are gonna be like, like how? <laughs> I have uh, some friends that have turned another large storage unit into like a home office situation and 
I was thinking if it's that big, then it would be awesome to also have a little home office situation for Jacqueline and Mark are going to be sharing a one bedroom apartment, both working from home part of the time. Maybe one of them will want some space. Now that y'all know about Jordy, maybe Jordy when he's visiting Austin will want a spot to go right. And we've already had the conversation of like, my job is making noise by talking to a camera. His job is making noise by singing. So we're gonna definitely need separate spaces if we're both working while seeing each other. Um, so that could be awesome. So what I'm thinking is obviously half storage unit, half maybe set up a little desk slash chair situation. It's also so echoey in there. So it could be really cool to have like a little rug. I don't know. It's just a fun little side project. If it's that big and I have the space, why not? So I'm gonna go to uh, Goodwill real quick and just start checking it periodically for like uh, maybe a nice little comfy chair or a rug or something of the sorts. I might be able to get a desk from Jacqueline because they, I think, are replacing the desk they own. So that's kind of the plan. And I'm pulling up to Goodwill right now, so let's go. Today there's a whole huge leather couch in here that's actually in super good condition. It's not my style. I swear we had this exact couch growing up in our house, but um, it looks super comfortable. But don't worry, I'm not gonna go put a whole, <laughs> maybe like a love seat one day, but not a whole couch. There are quite a few rugs and they're all like brand new, but they're, well, no, there's some, there's some cool ones. The price is still a little pricey, $45. I feel like I could almost do just as good on Amazon and maybe have more options, but I'm gonna still look through all these real quick. Okay, I just checked my favorite cheap Amazon rug brand, which is L-O-L-O-I, Loli. <laughs> and um, their rugs are actually double the price. They start at like 90, but they're very cute. But you know, I'm kind of think, kind of thinking if I can get someone to help me load this into my car, I just might do this lighter one and hope it fits. Six by nine? I don't know, should have measured, but this was on a whim. I'm gonna see if I can get someone to help me with that. I am the proud new owner of a Goodwill rug. $44. Not too bad. I kind of want to go clean the floors in there and lay this out and see if it makes a difference for the echoey to where it can be okay for like phone calls and stuff. Let's, get, let's go home and try. It's Friday and I actually have zero idea what today has in store. I just have work things on my list. Might film a whole separate video today. Um, but socially, I don't know, but I do have a couple updates from last night. First, I did do self tanner and I tried the TikTok thing where you use self tanner to contour your face. And um, it, kind of, it kind of worked. Like I can see it darker around my forehead. 
I don't know about my jawline, but I want to try it again with a darker self tanner sometime. Okay, off to work and um, I will catch up with you guys when we do something fun. Finished my work for the day. Uh, finished all of my filming and so now I really do want to try these on rapid fire. Like 15 second impressions, keep versus return. This brand is J.ing. I don't know if you pronounce it Jing, but I had ordered something from them like two years ago and I still like a few of the things. So I looked them back up and was kind of shocked. I forgot that they were pretty affordable. So bought these all myself. Let's see if I like any of them. Oh. <laughs> I love this one. It's a little small on my bust, but I think with the pattern, you, you don't really notice. Um, and I think any bigger would be too big on my torso. But I love the concept. This is a keep. This is very, I was going for more Parisian things. And this passes. <sighs> keep. This one feels a little bit cheaper. I think maybe once it's steamed and didn't have wrinkles, I would like it better. But the V is pretty deep. This one I'm undecided. For the sake of rapid fire, I'm gonna say undecided. I have clearly loved corset style tops and tie tops lately and I thought that this was, I mean the price was so good and I love the concept, it's super comfortable but the cups are just noticeably way too small. So I think that this has to be a return. I could try sizing up but then I feel like this might be loose but I might try returning and sizing up. Look how cute. I think the back is perfect. Okay, time for a skirt. I need your opinions on this. I thought this would be fun. Kind of a little bit Nancy Drew. It fits really well, but it's just, it's short. It's pretty short. Is it too short or is it okay? I don't know. I do love the little pearl buttons. I think that that makes it fun. We have some pants. The top would be keep, but the whole thing is too short. It's a return. Return, return. So we have one keep, maybe an exchange, and the rest return. Ah, yeah. <laughs> well, guess what my Friday night plans are. I am getting ready to head out on a solo date, and I promise, <laughs> I promise I'll be mindful of not including the sicky sweet things too often, but this is actually very, very sweet. Um, I had a phone call with Jordy. He's in between like a sound check and his show tonight, and I was telling him that everybody I know is out of town right now and that I'm kind of like bummed that I haven't had any social plans the last couple nights. And I told him, maybe I'll take myself on a solo date. Just don't really know what I would do. And he was like, oh, can I take you on a date? And I was like, what do you mean? And he was like, if that sounds good, I'll, I'll plan something and I'll be right back. And I was like, okay. And he came back with um, reservations for one at a sushi restaurant that I've really been wanting to try and a whole plan of like, here's an album to listen to on the drive over. Here's your reservation for sushi. Here's an ice cream spot walking distance nearby. And then go to like the scenic spot and I'm gonna send you a voice memo that you can listen to whenever you're there. And it's very, very cute and it's very, very sweet. And I feel just incredibly spoiled and excited now for a date that is simultaneously a solo date and a date that I did not plan. It's very fun and creative, honestly, incredibly creative. Um, I'm wearing pajama shorts, so I'm gonna get changed and let's go to South Congress for a little solo date. Where you up when the blinds pull down? You love it when nobody's around. I wanna call out pine town, but you bite my lip, don't make a sound. I'll be down if I'm leaving without you. Today has felt really special and I'm really thankful that I get to share the exciting, happy things with y'all. There's honestly been a few things just like in my personal life that have come up the last few days that have also been hard. So getting to focus on the positives with you guys has made the last couple days feel really great. And I super appreciate you allowing me to share those things and um, be excited with me. It means a lot. All that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here, but I wanted to say thanks again to Shutterfly for partnering with me on this video. I'm gonna have those invitations linked down below if you wanna take a look at them. Can't wait to show them to Jacqueline. I think she's gonna really like them. Very much her vibe. 
but I love y'all. Thanks for spending the last couple days with me. I'm starting a whole new vlog tomorrow. It's gonna be a good one. We're gonna hang out with uh, Kaylee and Anna around Austin. So with that being said, I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in that video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go.